Tonight, they took to the streets demanding freedom, but instead they were met with handcuffs and the riot squad. Thousands of protesters right across the country defied stay-at-home orders to attend anti-lockdown rallies, confronting scenes for those trying to contain Sydney's growing COVID crisis. And it is a far cry from what's happening overseas, where many lockdowns have ended. Lockdown fever hits boiling point. Thousands in Sydney, Melbourne, even Brisbane. At so-called freedom rallies, drawing stinging criticism from New South Wales Police Minister David Elliott. What we saw today were three and a half thousand very selfish bullfets. Attacking police and risking more infections. There is no doubt in my mind that one in, at least one individual there today had COVID. This selfish, in, inappropriate behaviour is what is going to continue this city into lockdown. On a day when New South Wales recorded 163 new COVID cases, higher vaccine rates seen as the only way out for lockdown Australia. On the opposite side of the world, it couldn't look more different. We're now travelling on a one-way road to freedom. The UK's enjoyed its first week of freedom. Free to enjoy the summer sun, the beaches, the restaurants, the clubs. The people are dancing, we're all drinking again, no social distancing. This is what life's about. Despite rising case numbers and the threat of the Delta variant, it's full steam ahead, supposedly with care. We've got to do it cautiously. We've got to remember that this virus is sadly still out there. Cases are rising. We can see the extreme contagiousness of the, of the Delta variant. While here... How do you feel about closing? Very unhappy. Our low vaccination rate has left us in lockdown. Hi, my name's Daniela. Um, I live in Seattle in the United States um, and we're currently America's most vaccinated metro city. In Seattle, population close to 800,000, a slick and urgent rollout means 75% of people over 12 are now fully vaccinated. You can walk up to pharmacies, you can walk up to pop-up clinics in supermarket parking lots. Um, you know, it's like, it's like you can't escape a vaccine clinic at this stage. So um, I think they've just made them really pervasive and really easy for people to access. Aussie lawyer Daniela is relishing her new freedom. Seattle in particular has had a really high vaccine adoption rate and that's really turned things around over here. At the end of June, almost all, or if not all, of our restrictions were lifted. So we've got baseball games at the stadium happening, we've got restaurants full capacity. Compare that to this time last year. It was really eerie over here. Seattle was one of the first hotspots in the United States, I think, together with New York. And so it was pretty scary being one of the hardest hit places. Now... I almost feel uh, guilty talking about it to you guys over there in Australia, um, but certainly, you know, we're in peak summer over here and school holidays and people are certainly going on summer vacations and travelling uh, domestically. Her family is in Melbourne. Yeah, I can't imagine what it's been like in Melbourne to go through five lockdowns. Uh, my heart goes out for them every time, you know, another lockdown is introduced. I feel very lucky to be living in a city where uh, the vast majority of the people have, uh, you know, taken the initiative and gone and gotten vaccinated. Dakota Hunt had nine months in Seattle before COVID struck, then more than a year of lockdown. I think we actually had the first recorded case in the US. Initially, we were one of the first places to get hit um, and we shut down pretty quickly. Um, pretty dramatic lockdown. It wasn't actually until about three weeks ago that we fully opened up um, back to normal. He thought about trying to get home but is pleased he didn't. Everything's opened up, um, full capacity, restaurants, bars, um, cinemas, all of that. You know, it's back to normal. The message is simple. Get the majority fully vaccinated 
and freedom is within reach. I think once you kind of reach critical mass of vaccinated people, then it becomes a lot easier to, you know, justify um, lifting of restrictions. In Australia, I feel like until we get to that point, it's still going to be, you know, lockdowns and trying to stay on top of things. The magic number we need to get to is 70%. Right now, just 13% of Australians are fully vaccinated. We do have a long way to go.